Aries, this energy I'm feeling, a lot of you, it feels heavy. Uh, so this may be a specific message. Uh, this may not resonate with all of you. I do feel a heavy energy of needing time alone. Shadow work are just like maybe some, some of you experiencing just low vibe and like your emotions. <sighs> you know past energy still resurfacing i think you're you're whether you recognize it or not there's something really disturbing your soul and your spirit so i i feel it that deep so here we go we have wedding so some of you this could have been a, a relationship that was a marriage or something that's holding you back Heart to heart conversations, soulmate, and new love. Oof. So there's a battle here. This is heavy. Yeah, we have religious factor here. So definitely a spiritual path. Your love life is um, influenced um, by a spiritual path for sure. There's something really heavy happening here. And so this is a matter of either letting go or confronting an, a soulmate and then moving on, maybe wanting new love. Maybe something's just not working out. Some of you, it's your past energy. Some of you were in a long-term commitment um, in the past. Some of you are re-establishing the kind of um, long-term or your needs for longevity and what that means, maybe redefining it as well. So let's see what else we've got here. If I take in mind, I could be picking up your person's energy. I just kind of keep the energies as clear as I can as I'm reading. Because I just feel, I feel the energies in the now, so. All of you are in different timelines as well. So let's see. Oh, that fell on the floor. Give me a second. The world. Okay, so chariot. And this to me is a burning desire for change, crown chakra, lots in the mind. We do have the mental conflict with just the two of swords, which me represents the not being able to make a decision yet. So the world obviously came out and that could mean, I mean, it's reversed. I flipped it, but it could mean that some of you may not be ready to let go or in are in this battle of past and present, you know, in your life yeah memories of love the past definitely is like a haunting energy ace of pentacles needing to choose new moving on and creating something a lot more firm you know in your life in your general read that i did last week there was a lot about finance so a lot of you really are focusing on stabilizing your life so let's see this mental conflict Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Strength. You know, this is the low energy here with the Strength. I think a lot of you have to find some willpower in how you show up for yourself. Um, getting comfortable with change, Knight of Swords. Some of you also want to be the one to open this communication with your person to see if things can be worked out. So there is this energy of whether to approach or not. And some of you are holding yourself back with the strength card and kind of, yeah, four of swords kind of sitting there and waiting four of swords and the seven of pentacles kind of sitting there and waiting and not taking any action. Camera on the world. There's a past door open here. Camera on the world. So 
seven of swords yeah and it's where the emotions are attached five of cups and the ten of swords so the world is 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 where the emo emotions are t attached and reverse the world reverse because you guys know i don't have to do reversals i mean I'm representing all these energies that means it's really a reversal energy where we have unfinished business we haven't cleared a chapter we haven't really closed it out completely and i think this is a need to to decide to close this because it is five seven of swords seven of swords and the five of cups it's a robbing of emotions it's a robbing of time right either the mind is very much sitting in it still give me more on this memories of love yeah the sun give me more on this memories of love the fool and yeah so there's this energy of knowing that you guys can start on something new and i feel like spirit is trying to show you the fool something new for you to walk away you've got to create some emotional distance here on your the memories of the past and really start seeing it differently i also am feeling like some of you could be dealing with a leo so some of you who have met a new person it could be triggering some past energies as well but it's an, a need to kind of create this disconnect with the past eight of cups, like a let go in order for things to have a positive turn in your life. So if you want to really experience, you know, a new connection, ace of pentacles, like you got to take this leap. You kind of have to mentally shift yourself, which is why I'm saying like your mind the world here is unlocking that and letting it close will help you move to this new new life and more on this ace of pentacles tower ah we're back to the seven of pentacles and the four of swords so there's a lot of contemplation here and some of you are just thinking way too much maybe you, some of you already met this new person or also are just thinking about moving forward and there's too much thinking about what this will look like i feel like this tower moment um Probably an epiphany of some sort to kind of get you clear. That's going to be different for all of you. This could, this tower moment could be coming from a conversation for some of you. But no one's making a move here, you know, and you are either. So yeah, so much uncertainty. The moon wants to show up. So much uncertainty here. Game on is moving on. By right, the six of swords. Yeah, so guys this is six of cups letting go of the past moving on seriously what do we need to do there's something obviously holding holding you back so either we're going to work it out with this past energy if we're not going to let it go or we're going to there's an initiative necessary here okay i'm on the six of cups Yeah, there's an initiative necessary here, the Hierophant. Some of you, I'm telling you, it was a previous marriage um, that probably shook you guys up. Um, so it could just be an emotional, it's just a memory. There's a triggering energy of some sort when it comes to the past, right? Because we have, again, memories of love is the Six of Cups clarified also by letting it go eight of cups the sun the fool so there's a need to kind of find joy again so let's see this firm foundation i always feel this is like you stabilizing yourself financially you can run this firm foundation i knew it so ace of pentacles so a lot of you are focusing on your money i think your energy is going on to your finances and a lot of it may be because financially you were affected so knight of wands is action king of pentacles you're working on your finances and ace of pentacles yeah and the world 
I feel a lot of you, this comes first. I've been feeling this for some time. I think um, it's also a part that it's, it's also a part that holds you back from this new love. So it kind of makes you weigh in on things a lot because we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles here. You kind of kind of weigh in on things a lot because, and this may be for some of you, Aries, if some of you are just still not in a place to feel like you're secure, then this is an area of life you probably need to, to commit to and focus on first before you think about any connection because there's so much waiting and not making any decisions but then i always find myself back into this finance energy and this this thing that you guys have to work on and it's really where your change is happening death energy so there's a lot of change that's transforming within yourself and sometimes when we're going through these big transformative stages um, to be honest, like the people we align ourselves once we get where we want to may not be the same people we would date. You know, once we're here, if let's say you were dating uh, six months where you before you got where you wanted to get, you might realize that even those people are just mentally not in the same space. So. Maybe the waiting is very important for a lot of you. And maybe the space is a need to kind of think about it. Now, for others of you who are attached to someone, I feel like there is also an energy of needing to close a chapter with a conversation. So let's see what the blockages is. It's a blockage for Aries. Okay. Yeah, toxic. This is no good for you. So basically, it's a blockage. So there's a toxic pattern here that just is not good for you. And then, yes, endings are really just beginnings. So there's an ending that's necessary. The ending here, you got the world twice. So this is saying closing this chapter will just mean that it's just a new beginning. And a lot of you have to walk out of a toxic past there's 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 something that's not allowing you to grow here let's see this is not these are codependent energies here let's see what the guidance is around some for, for some of you this codependent energy <sighs> narrow-minded you have a limited outlook on perspective and thoughts what makes you think your thoughts are solid gold this just feels like this yes you know the world so you're you're narrow-minded again what's robbing you of your emotions robbing of your time the seven of swords to move forward um this mental conflict is stalemate and there's a need to kind of attack something you know without being attached to it so there's definitely a lot about perspective here let me get one more spirit for aries Okay, quite a few. Superficial, you care too much about outward appearance. Start with your inner work, your value, your self-esteem and personality. So I know these are tough ones to the, cause listen, shadow work is never ever easy. I will say that that is exactly what death energy is. It's an old version of ourselves. So some of you may be focusing on the wrong things obsessiveness write down what you are obsessing over realize it that it is emotionally draining you again back to the seven swords and this five of cups i do feel it's a robbing of of your chapter moving you know it's clarifying the world so it's a constant repeat so think about what we're thinking about too much may this oracle deck um awaken you to a greater authenticity by working through any hidden shadows of your personality yeah, so this is just a guidance, right? Where spirit is saying, "May let this, let these energies um, help you work through any shadows of your personality." And sometimes we have to look at our personality. You know, some of this could be a mirror of your person as well. Let's see what your guidance is. Emotions. Let your deepest emotions come to the surface and release them. It is okay to be emotional. When you suppress them, you will only cause pain and blocks into your body, which is again this. There are blocks to a new chapter. 
right? We're, we're robbing ourselves and allowing our emotions to kind of not see the two of cups behind, right? We're not trying to see the cups that are standing. We're just keep focusing on the cups that have fallen in our lives. So um, to have a healthy energy flow, you must learn to manage your emotions and acknowledge them. So there's definitely a lot about acknowledging here um, about where we stand, you know? This is why I said in the beginning of the read, I do feel a lot of shadow works and there's some, there are things that just, it's part of the soul journey. I, I will never make this a negative thing because the soul always will experience shadow work. So let's see what else, what other guidance. It's always going to be about your perspective. Moonlight. I bathe in moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay at this very moment. I'm right where I need to be. You know, Aries, you guys are resolving what you need to resolve. And I feel that right now working on what really matters is what where the focus may need to be most. Um... And as you do that and get more confident, um, right, where you start with your inner work and your value, your self-esteem and your personality, like you focus on that area of what makes you feel good, then, you know, everything else kind of always falls into place. It just does because we're just stronger within our emotions now, right? We're holding ourselves accountable for them. So, uh, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe, click that bell button if you enjoyed my frequency.